Arizona State Fairgrounds. This is your home. So what's on your wish list? Maybe adding a bar door? I love that. All right. So today, I'm going to be taking a look at these two irons right here. do a little comparison of the, my irons from my old model of the Shrixons that I used to play to the new ones that I have now as the TaylorMade P790s. And just to let you guys know, before we get to in, into any of this, I am not paid to say any of this. So when I do my reviews, these are clubs that I have a passion for and that I actually play. Currently, I'm playing these TaylorMade P 790s, they just came out with them. Slot technology in there. This is my old set. This is the Srixon. Has some lead tape on the back right there just because I had to juice them up. This is kind of not put together for me. This one was put together for me, but I adjusted this one to my standards. So I'm gonna go out on the golf course. We're gonna go hit some stuff. We're gonna go hit some shots to see how this flies out in the daylight, compare the distances, compare the ball flights. And then I'm gonna shoot it over to the simulator and uh, we're gonna go get some actual numbers. So. Oh, a little bit of a chilly morning out here. Wanted to get things going. Wanted to do this while uh, no one was out on the golf course, so morning time it is. Before I hit, let's show you guys what I'm working with here. So we look at my current gamer. It's a P790, it's a seven iron. You see they have a little screw right here at the toe end. That's basically where they shot that foam in. They have the speed slot up on top right here. That's another way that they're gaining distance. Now I am gonna take this in and we are gonna look at the lies and see if they did juice this club up. Cause I am getting these clubs, I am getting a lot more distance out of my P790s than I am my Shrixons. Same shaft make on them and same multi compound mid-size grips. Let's start off with the Shrixon. We're just gonna hit some balls, get warmed up here. We'll say the Shrixon has a little bit more of a box style, kind of a blade sharpness to it versus the P790s. They have more of a little bit more of a chunkiness to it, but still for the top line that you're going to look down at, it's really not that bad. And just off those two swings that I hit right there, I already can tell the P790 went a little bit further. It had a little bit lower trajectory. And a, a good way to tell which club I'm hitting, the blue, that's the Shrix on. The white, that's the Taylor made. Well, I just hit four shots there. Both of my Taylor Maids are on the green. One of the Shrix on's on the green, one of them short of the green. So all four of my shots with the seven iron. These two are the Taylor made. Shrix on. Shrix on. All right, so I had some shots out on the golf course. Now I'm gonna head over to All About Golf. Go actually get on this launch model monitor so you guys uh, can stop asking me to see the numbers. Gonna show you guys, I'm not making this stuff up. I'm gonna go test the lies on these seven irons. I'm gonna go uh, hit some shots in their simulator, see how far they're going. Um, but, you know, just gonna tell you right now, just the feel right off the bat. I love the Strix on feel of those irons. It's got a great forge feel. Uh, when you do miss hit it though, you do feel the miss hits much more compared to my P790s. Um, the miss hits on the 790s just, they're really not there. You hit it on the toe, you hit it on the heel. Yeah, you're gonna feel a little bit, but they're still gonna get out there the same distances.
And guys, if you like this video, uh, make sure you guys go pound that little like sign right there. That really helps me out. Uh, apparently, YouTube likes that a lot too. So uh, go pound that like video, uh, subscribe do all that good stuff for me. Uh, I really appreciate it. This is a, what motivates me to make more of these videos for you guys. Just trying to give you guys an honest opinion from a, uh, from a player who has put a lot of work into this game and really believes in the certain products that I play. So this is why I do this, guys, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right now, I am got to head first to the post office. Go send out some of these hats right here. And uh, if you do like that hat, check out that link right there got hats shirts all that stuff hopefully some more stuff coming out in the future but I gotta drive now see you guys in a bit okay so we're here at all about golf just arrived probably... gonna get with Kim here we're gonna check out these lofts and see if uh, <laughs> Taylor made really juicing up their clubs or if uh, they're really just going a lot lot further so Kim I'm gonna give you these got the Shrix on we also got the Taylor made go over to the machine over, go over the machine over here That is my old one. So the Strixon's on the on the platform at the moment. And the Strixon is reading 32 degrees of loft. Okay, so seven iron with the Strixon, 32 degrees. Which you did not clean prior. To no. <laughs> Hit shots this morning already. <laughs> You're a lucky man. <laughs> you can refer to exactly the same. So. He just put those both. You guys just saw we didn't do same anything camera work there. You They're can, exactly the same. If so wanna, if you want to shoot the loft thing here, you can see the. Yeah. And what more club is this? Five, seven. Seven iron. Okay. So Kim just measured both of these. They're the exact same loft. My both seven irons are the exact same loft. Kim's over here dialing it up. We're gonna put it on the launch monitor. I'm gonna hit five shots each with each club. We're gonna check out the numbers. And again, these are exact same shafts. He also put it on the lie machine and this TaylorMade was about a half degree flat versus this one. Probably why I like this one a little bit more too. We're gonna start off with the Shrix on first. I'm gonna hit some shots with the Shrix on. So I'm gonna let Kim go ahead and explain these numbers real fast for us. So. The differences per se, uh, you, your club head speed, uh, and this may have been because you're a little more warmed up, but your club head speed went up a couple, three miles an hour there. Okay. Uh, ball speed was uh, uh, higher with the P790 by four, to four miles an hour. Um, your launch angle uh, was higher by not quite two full degrees. <coughs> Um, spin rate, your spin rate actually was a little lower with the P790 than it was with the, uh, uh, than it was with the Strixon, but, uh, but only by, uh, you know, about 200 RPMs, not quite. Um, angle of descent, this means that the ball is coming down steeper uh, with the P790 than it did with the, with the, with the uh, Strixon. So potentially, even though you had more spin here, this shot has more potential to stop quicker because it's coming down at a steeper angle. Uh, and your yardages, uh, your, your carry yardage uh, was significantly more than, uh, than with the Strixon. Your overall yardage was uh, also with five yards more than the Strixon. Um, so uh, it looks to me like the Taylor made outperform the Strixon in most every category across the board. I didn't say a word there. But I'm, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm now. Not sure if that's what you wanted me to say, but that's, that's, what, well, that's you know, what the numbers said. I, I didn't want you to say anything. I no, wanted you okay. to say exactly what the numbers said up there. And that's what now, tell me. I'm gonna take three swings now, again with uh, these clubs, and since I'm a little bit more warmed up, I'm gonna try to swing as hard as I can with three of them on each of them, and we're gonna compare those ones. Yeah, with this right there. 
<laughs> All right, break it down for me, mechanic. Well, uh, here we are again. Now we got the tricks on. Uh, your your club head speed again with the P790 was uh, was higher by t uh, whatever two miles. Math is not my subject four, here. Yeah, almost four miles an hour. Um, ball speed again, almost uh, well three miles an hour anyway with the point eight there. Um, so go over to your spin rates and 61. Your spin rate again. It's your spin rate's a little bit higher yet with the tricks on, but. Uh, uh, but again, the angle of descent is still one one degree steeper, so that ball is going to come down uh, a little bit more steeply and stop stop faster. Uh, you, you've got ten yards more carry. Ten and, yards more carry. And uh, uh, ten yards uh, more more distance and overall. I can do the math on those two. Oh, that's, I mean that's, that's <laughs> easy right there. So he's not lying, guys. This is uh, I'm going to show you guys the numbers here, just to show you guys we're not making this stuff up. I'll go ahead and I'll pause it for you guys. These are all the numbers right here. You can see the 790 versus the Strixon. And again, I am a fan of both of these clubs makers. They are both great clubs, but there's no lie in the numbers, folks. All right, guys. Well, always thanks for All About Golf for letting me come in here and testing this stuff. The mechanic over here, thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks for your help. Pleasure, Kyle. He's not lying. We're not lying. Taylor May's not lying. Todd. Thank you. Man, Todd. Any time. Thank you very much. Pleasure Appreciate happened. it, guys. I will see you guys next time. So I just left all about golf. So now I'm headed back out to the golf course. But first. Should I do a sandwich review? Oh, we have a tuna sandwich here. So, you guys saw. Ooh. Look at that. Ah, I feel much better now. Numbers don't lie. I'm not lying to you. That's how it goes. So, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to try to do some more product reviews. Be a little bit more involved and voice my opinion a little bit more here. This is probably the most I've ever talked in one of these vlogs. Hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh.